Hi, welcome to this Corpomars video on proportion. In this video, we're going to look at proportion questions that involve time. So let's have a look at our first question. So our first question says, it takes 120 hours for four pumps to fill a swimming pool. So we've got a swimming pool and it's empty. And if four pumps are filling up with water, it takes 120 hours. And we've been asked to find out how long it will take if five pumps were used instead of four. So first of all, if we know that it takes 120 hours for four pumps to fill the pool, it'll take four times longer for one pump to fill the pool. So if we take a 120 and multiply it by four, that'll tell us how long it'll take for one pump to fill the swimming pool. So 120 multiplied by four is equal to 480 hours. So that would be 480 hours for one pump. Now we know that it takes 480 hours for one pump to fill the pool, we want to find out how long it'll take if five pumps fill the pool. Now obviously if five pumps are being used, it's going to take a lot less time, and it'll actually take a fifth of the time. So if we take our 480 hours and divide it by five, that'll tell us how long it'll take for the five pumps to fill the swimming pool. And 480 divided by five is equal to 96. So that means it'll take 96 hours for five pumps to fill the swimming pool. Okay, so that was part A, let's have a look at part B. So we've got the same question, and part B was to state an assumption that we used whenever we were working out our answer. Now, one big assumption that we were making was that each of the pumps works at the same rate. It could be that the fifth pump is actually a brand new pump and is much more efficient than the other four. So our assumption is that each of the pumps pumps water at the same rate. Okay, our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, eight builders can finish a house in 20 days. And each of the builders work at the same rate. So we've got eight builders, they all work at the same rate. And if they were to work on a house, it would take them 20 days to build it. But six of the builders stop working after 14 days. So after 14 days or two weeks, six of the builders just stop working on the house. So that means then there's only two builders left working on it. And the other builders continue building the house at the same rate until it's finished. And we're asked how long it'll take for them to build the house. So first of all, we know that eight builders are working on the house and it takes them 20 days. So if it was just one builder, it would take eight times longer. So we're going to take our 20 days and we're going to multiply that by eight and that'll tell us how long it would take if just one builder was working on the house. And 20 times eight is equal to 160 days. So we know that if one builder was working on the house, it would take 160 days. But we know that eight builders worked on the house for the first 14 days. So let's work out how many days worth of work those eight builders spent on the house. So if we take our 14 days and multiply it by the eight builders, that'll tell us how many days worth of work those builders spent on the house. So 14 times eight is equal to 112 days. So 112 days worth of work was spent on the house in the first 14 days by the eight builders. So if we take the 112 days worth of work away from the 160 days worth of work, that'll tell us how many days worth of work is needed to be spent by the last two builders. So 160 take away 112 is equal to 48. So 48 days worth of work is needed to be spent on the house to finish it. Now let's see how many builders are working on the house after the 14 days. So six of the builders stop working. So there were eight builders to begin with and six of them stop working so there's only two builders now. And they've got to spend in total 48 days worth of work in there. So if we take those 48 days and divide it by the two builders, that'll tell us how many days they need to spend working on the house. So 48 divided by two is equal to 24 days. So whenever it's just two builders working on the house, it'll take them another 24 days to finish the house. So we know first of all that eight builders spent 14 days working on the house. So that's 14 days. Plus, we know that whenever there's just two builders working on the house, it'll take them another 24 days. So 14 plus 24 is equal to 38 days. So it'll take altogether 38 days to build the house. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, it takes six hours for 20 workers to seed 40 acres. How long would it take 10 workers to seed 90 acres? So first of all, we're told that it takes six hours for 20 workers to seed 40 acres. So if there was just one worker, it would take 20 times longer. So if we take six and we times it by 20, that'll tell us how many hours it take one worker to seed the 40 acres. So 60 times 20 is equal to 120 hours. So if there was just one worker, it would take them 120 hours to seed 40 acres. And then if we take the 120 hours and we divide that by 40, we'll see how long it takes one worker to seed one acre. So 120 divided by 40 is equal to three hours. So it takes three hours for one worker to seed one acre. 
But we're asked to work out how long it would take for 10 workers to seed 90 acres. So if we've got one worker, well, if we know that it takes one worker three hours to seed an acre, it would take one worker, well, if we have 90 acres, it would be 90 multiplied by three to find out how many hours it would take for one worker to seed 90 acres altogether. So 90 multiplied by three is equal to 270 hours. So if we had one person, it would take 270 hours for them to seed the 90 acres. But there's actually 10 workers, so that means it'll take a tenth of the time. So if we take our 270 and we divide it by 10, that'll tell us how many hours it would take 10 workers to seed 90 acres. So 270 divided by 10 is equal to 27 hours. So it would take 27 hours for 10 workers to seed 90 acres. And that's it. Now in this question, we're asked to state an assumption that we used in working out our answer. Well, one big assumption is that each of the workers works at the same rate. Sometimes you find that some workers work faster than others. So one assumption that we're making is that each of the workers works at the same rate. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, Miss Jones owns a factory that makes pens. And she's received an order for a large quantity of pens. And she knows that if she used eight machines, it would take 72 hours for enough pens to be made by those machines. And Miss Jones plans to start making pens at 8 a.m. on Monday with two machines. And then she can use 13 more machines at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. And we've been asked approximately when will enough pens be made. So first of all, we know that if she uses eight machines, it would take 72 hours. So if she was to use just one machine, it would take eight times longer. So if we take our 72 hours and we multiply that by eight, that'll tell you how long it would take just one machine to make the pens. So 72 multiplied by eight is 576 hours. So it would take 576 hours for one machine to make enough pens. But we're told that she starts making the pens at 8 a.m. on Monday with two machines. And then at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, she starts using more machines. So let's find out how many hours have passed between 8 a.m. on Monday and 5 p.m. on Tuesday. So from 8 a.m. on Monday until 8 a.m. on Tuesday, well, that would be 24 hours. And then from 8 a.m. on Tuesday until 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Well, from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. would be 12 hours. So until 5 p.m. would be three less hours. That would be nine more hours. So altogether, those two machines work on their own for 33 hours. So 33 hours, Miss Jones uses two machines. And then at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, then she obviously starts using more. So altogether, that's 33 hours that the two machines are making pens. Now, because there's two machines, that's going to be 66 hours worth of machine time spent making pens. So if we take our 576 and we take away our 66, that'll tell us how many hours would be left if one machine was making pens. So that would be 510 hours. Now, at 5 o'clock on Tuesday, 5 p.m. on Tuesday, she starts using 13 more machines. So that's going to be 15 machines altogether because she was using two and she's now using 13 more. So it's 15 machines. Now, it would take 510 hours for just one machine to make the rest of the pens. But because she's using 15 machines, it's going to take a 15th of that time. So we'll take our 510 and we'll divide it by 15. And whenever we divide 510 by 15, we get that's equal to 34 hours. So it'll take 34 hours after 5 p.m. on Tuesday for the machines to finish making enough pens. And the question asks us approximately when will enough pens be made? So we need to find out when 34 hours after 5 p.m. on Tuesday is. So 24 hours on 5 p.m. on Tuesday will be 5 p.m. on Wednesday. But then we've got another 10 hours. So seven more hours would bring us to midnight because five o'clock plus seven would be 12 o'clock. And that means we've got three more hours. So three more hours after midnight would be 3 a.m. on Thursday. So the machines will be finished making the pens at 3 a.m. on Thursday. And that's it.